Hi guys, it's Lisa. I am starting a new geode. Um, get your mind out of the gutter. This is not Fifty Shades of Grey. Anyway, it is going to be like Fifty Shades of Clear though. <laughs> So I'm going to do a freeform geode and I'm using this rope as the barrier. This is the first time I've done this. I actually saw it done on Sue Finley's channel um, instead of the um, caulking, just use the rope and then Hopefully it works out good. I've never tried it before. So basically I am going to do a transparent geode. And I'm going to use um, a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to use some crystals, some diamond dust, Everything sparkly. I'm gonna use some bling it oyster satin, some clear acrylic gems, some fire glass, some broken mirror glass, maybe some marbles glitter, some silver glitter, it's actually glass glitter from Laura's Art Corner, and some iridescent glitter. I'm probably only going to put like maybe one color in it and it's going to be transparent, so I'll be using a resin art tint. But the rest is just going to be like iridescent -y, clear mirrors, stuff like that. So, um, let me get set up because the first layer is just going to be um, some glass and uh, clear resin. So let me get set up and I will be right back. I just put you on hold. Hang on. Okay, so I put some glass down. And Now I'm just mixing up some resin. Um, the resin that I'm using on this first layer is the Stone Coat Quick Coat um, because I need to be able to do another layer tonight. So hopefully it doesn't get too hot that it melts my cellophane <laughs> which I'm thinking it might like I wouldn't be surprised if it did I'm making a mess so um, when you're mixing your resin you want to make sure that it is all mixed very well. I would just leave that there, but it's not totally mixed yet. <laughs> so, so stone coat quick coat is a one to one ratio. So you put um, 
So I did four ounces of resin and four ounces of hardener. This will probably be my only um, layer of quick coat. Like I said, I'm just using it just so that I can do another layer tonight. So you just stir it until it's clear and doesn't have any of them little strings left in it, cloudiness. Um, so it's got bubbles in it, but that's fine. As long as you scrape the sides, the bottom, your stick, and it's pretty clear. So I am, geez, I already made a mess of my gloves. In this first layer, I am putting some iridescent glitter in it just to make it sparkle a bit. Not a whole lot, just looks like I'm putting a lot in it, but this is a really small opening. So when you're using quick coat, as soon as part A and part B touch each other, the clock starts. Oops, I'm stuck. So like I can already feel it heating up in the cup right now. So I'm just gonna pour along the edges here. And if you get it up on the edges of the rocks, then they'll come down through the rocks and be able to stick the other stuff down. So basically I'm just building up this edge here is what I want to do because the other stuff will all come together just so that the edge, like I said, this is the first time I've used the, the rope. So I'm hoping that it gives me a better edge. Then the caulking. If not, I'll go back to the caulking. But I just want these stones right up against the edge. Of the rope. so that it follows the shape good. And normally when you're working with resin and it starts to set up, you can add a little bit of heat to it and it'll thin it out again but with quick coat that is not the case at all 
the more heat you add to it, the faster it's going to set up. So right now it's just about the shape. Not really about anything else. Now freeform geodes take a lot of resin. So they are pretty expensive to make. But if done correctly, they are beautiful. I feel like it needs a little bit more glass on the outside. This is the crushed mirrors glass. So I'm just sprinkling it so that it does get stuck to the resin. And builds up the outside because the outside of the geode is pretty hard. Okay. Guess I gotta put that on my list. Crush mirrored glass. All right. So I'm just going to press it down a little bit, press it up against the sides just to keep that shape. It's already starting to set. Just fine. The trip has been canceled unless you want to go just me and you. Oh, hang on a second. I'm recording. Can you hit pause? <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Um, 
we were going to go to Ponderosa for dinner, but Jacob fell asleep on us. So I guess we're not going. Um, so yeah, this is basically, I just added some more stones. I didn't miss much. Just trying to keep them pushed up. So they keep the shape. So basically I'm just going to watch this for a little bit. Make sure as it cures, it just keeps its shape. And then uh, I'll be able to do the second coat probably in about 30 minutes because it'll be set up by then. So yeah, I could sit here and play with it all day, but we don't have all day, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stop this part. I'm going to wait until um, it sets up, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, um, this has set up. Um, let's see. See, it's pretty sick. I'm going to leave it. I mean, I could probably take the rope off, but I'm going to leave it for the next layer. And basically, I'm just going to add some stuff to it. So I have not mixed up my resin yet, but I wanted to go over some of the things that I had. Now this is going to be like a transparent geode, so I've got some of these crystals. I made some of these with holographic paper on the back. So those will go in it. See how pretty it'll be. Just bobbles. Of course, we got diamond dust, which is great in everything. We got some. They're like acrylic little gems. Diamond things. Um, I might put some fairy lights in it. I don't know. I have them out here just in case. Uh, I have these little marbles. These will reflect some color put in there, right? I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Anyway, so um, then I know I am going to do a color. I'm not sure which one yet, but it's going to be just a transparent tint. Um, just a little bit. And then I'm going to do a 
interference blue from Bling It. Then maybe the satin one from Bling It. From Color Art, I mean. And then I'm going to incorporate this crystal that Nancy Watson sent me. Uh, this is fantastic. <laughs> Look at that thing. This is one of the best crystals I've ever seen. Look at that. I was even thinking maybe put, I don't know, maybe some iridescent paper on the back of that. Hang on, let me go grab some. Probably not, but maybe for a future thing. Uh, where did it go? I had some... Here's a little piece of paper. Sorry, I don't have you in a... thing. Oh, look at that. That shows some different colors off, huh? Looks very prismy. Maybe I will put some on the back of this. I don't know. But this crystal is gorgeous. And it's going to go in here somewhere. So basically, I was in a color overload. And I just couldn't figure out what colors I was going to do this geode. So today I actually got the mail. And I was on the phone with Tammy at the time. And I found this in my mailbox. And I thought, hmm. So I asked Tammy, you think like a clear geode <laughs> would be cool? Anyway, she sent us, it was in a mold. Uh, I don't really want to open it right now. I will show you guys before the end of this video. But I don't want to open it right now because my dog just walked by. And I don't want dog hair in it. But yeah, I have a mold for that crystal. So I can make them whatever color I want. And the mold is flawless. So yeah, I may... What do you guys think? Yeah, I may put the paper on the back of this crystal. Because then it would kind of go with this. And then if I used some of the Bahama Mama and the Bling It Blue, this thing's going to be popping. Seriously. So, my mom said, if you make a geode for a shower game prize, make sure it's neutral. Well, I don't think you can get any more neutral than clear, right? Alright guys, so let me get set up and I will be back. This was supposed to be just a little... Snippet. All right. I'll be back shortly. Okay, guys. I'm back. I just poured some more resin here. Um, so I'm just going to 
flatten it out. Put it up to the edge. And I also this plastic's kind of buckling, but that's okay. Oops, I just flicked resin everywhere. That's awesome. Okay. Now I'm going to put some of these acrylic diamonds over because I ran some fairy lights. See? So I'm going to put some of these acrylic gems over that. Oh, it's easier to pour them. And then these are clear, so they will cover up the wire, but not cover the light. Oops. <laughs> and they tend to sink. Which is fine, because then you want it to be, um, You want them to sink enough to so that the resin will hold them in place. That's that, and I will let them soak and then push them back. But right now I've got a little bit of color that I'm going to use. And I've already got this um, Bahama Mama tint mixed up because I used it as a an alcohol ink before so I'm going to tint the resin just a bit because I still want it to be transparent My resin is really heating up because, again, I used the quick coat. <laughs> so, actually, I'm going to have to pour this because I won't have time to do another color. to do that on the next one.
So see how transparent this is? I want it just a little bit more. This doesn't seize up on me before I get a chance to pour it. All right. Um, I'm going to just put it right around the edge here. can barely see it, which is okay. That's what I wanted. Just a little tint of color. Oops. Okay, I just made a mess. Actually, I've got an extra pair of gloves on, so. I'll just shed those and then voila. All right. So the tint could be a bit darker. But once it's up on the Clear acrylic. See how it's already setting up? It's no joke with that clear coat. Or a little, little, little quick coat. All right. So See how sticky it is? All right, I'm gonna leave that be because I'm gonna just make a mess. All right. Okay, so what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Actually, I think I'm gonna add some color. I think I'm just gonna straight up Not a whole lot. I'm going to do it toward the edge. And then I'm going to run my skewer through it. Just to get it some wispiness. Hopefully I can get all the way around before it sets up and starts fighting me. See how it's moving the whole thing? Okay, that gives it a little bit more blue. And uh, I can't back on this because I'm horrible. Okay, so I'm going to have to torch this and get some bubbles out because otherwise I'm going to have a bunch of bubbles. If you see some smoke, normal with the quick coat. 
Oops. Blowing some diamonds around. Okay. It's okay. That just means that they weren't on good, right? them down into the resin. Ugh. So warm, you can totally feel it. Okay, so that's that. Put a lid on these. don't want any of them right in the middle. All right, so I'm going to lay, whoa, almost dropped that right in the resin. I put holographic paper on this crystal that Nancy Watson sent me. So I put the paper on the back. Look at it. So this is going to be the center of my geode. And then I have these bobbles that I put holographic paper on. And then I have some big crystals. Actually, I think they're just chunks of glass. But while this is setting up, I'm going to put this because it's deep enough to where I'll be able to work around it. Just gotta figure out which way I'm gonna put it. I think I'm gonna put it like this. Right in the middle. And then it should yeah, it's got enough. Yep, it's got enough resin that it's going to stick. All right. <coughs> The resin is getting really smoky in here. So let me put my mask on. I should have had it on a long time ago. It'll stop smoking in a minute. I'm just going to sound like Darth Vader for a little bit. Plus, I don't know what else I'm going to do here. I did make some bling it. I made some alcohol ink with the bling it um, interference blue. Might drip some of that in there and see what it does.
Yeah, look, it's doing some funky stuff. It's kind of cool. I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to put a little bit of heat on it. don't want to use my torch because I don't want to fire. Remember when using alcohol or alcohol inks. You don't want to use fire. All right. Make sure my lights are still working. All right, cool. They're right under that blue. All right, sweet. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these yet. I don't know. They might not even go in this project. Now see this? It's already hard. See, I wouldn't even be able to put that in there. <laughs> but I think I'm going to put these Oops, that one's a little sticky still. Lovely. Way to go, jackass. All right, so I think I'm going to end up putting these around the center. I can't believe I just did Yes, I can. I can totally believe I just did that. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit, and then I'm going to figure out, I'll probably place the other stuff, and then bring you back. And then I will be using KS resin over it, so that it's UV protected, because quick coat is not UV protected. So, alright. So, so far, that's it. Let me go in close. Let's see how to sparkle. And that crystal's gonna be pretty. And you can see the wrinkles that are underneath from the paper. But that's okay because it's gonna give it like a texture look. So yeah. So that's it. Uh, yeah. So I will come back after I get figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of it. All right. See you soon, guys.